the amount of excuses Nana can get away with is just astronomical. The girl is so damn good at lying, she should become a fucking politician or a lawyer at best. I'm telling you. In the first part of the episode, I'm like, oh, snap. Mitru is screwed when she had two options. She holds on to the photo, she'll kill her. Or she gives her the photo, then she'll kill her later. Like, you won't die today, but you'll die eventually. <laughs> so little puppy Mitru has been saved. And the excuse of why she had a photo is because he's been having dreams. Really. The guy's always bragging about how well his predictions are. And this one's incorrect because of his dream he's been slacking off. And she fell for it. I guess this is really important when you try to study people's powers. It's very strange how you know this this island's just a ruse for them to die on. That no one is thinking about, hey, is it weird that we have to tell each other each other's powers? These things should be on file, you know, listed, you know, government kind of shit. It's all I'm saying. But the fact that you have to find out, like, really just dig deep and find out about these people's powers. Gotta scratch your head a little here, people. But hey, whatever. Now, when it comes to the next scene, oh man, the funeral really ticked me off, man. Now, you might ask me, why am I still watching this? It's because it is entertaining. But at the same time, just seeing how things play out is just... It's just hilarious, in my opinion. Freaking hilarious. I feel like the author should really learn to write more um, mysteries and thrillers, of getting away with murders and crimes. Because I don't know if this is their first work, it is fine, I understand. But I hope they learn, if they do the next round, the next time, they don't know how to write better. Plot thing was this, please, for love of God, learn to do that at least. At the funeral, Kiyoa wanted to do an autopsy because there's no police coming or no hospital or anything like that. It's just, your dad, your dad, I said, we have to gotta take care of everything. And the teacher is useless, it's crazy, you, everyone so all over him. He has to say so. And again, in most anime, this is student cancel has the true power of humanity, is all I'm saying. No. That being said, he was about to do it, but her excuses, oh, he was sick, and he died. Okay, why well, was sick, he's trying to attack you and stuff. Still, um, he was sick in one way, but the excuse that he was sick anyway is kind of off. He showed symptoms any other time, so why now? Yeah, they're, they're cooking back there, you know, a lot of cooking. So if you hear a lot of noise, I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the entire excuse of him being sexually ridiculous. Then not wanting to do the autopsy, even with a new kid named Shinji, who was doing necromancy on him, so he could tell the truth, like, oh, holy snap, he could tell the truth. No, wait. Somehow, now I can use the voice of the dead. This is why it's important to have your powers on file so you know how far it, they can reach. But whatever. Oh no, he's in pain. Please put him back to rest. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? It will only take a little while. It only took a little while for him to say, hey, what happened to you? you know, and just like that, you're telling me that people who are dying on an island, you can find out the answer right then and there. You'd rather say, oh, it's his feelings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> who makes this up? Seriously. <laughs> you mean to tell me in real life, as a human being, and you know someone can tell you what's happening, who is the boss. I mean, who is the thing among us who's killing everybody? And and they come back alive to tell you. You say, no, put him back to rest because he's in pain. Dude, I'm like, well, he got a pup with it. I have a bad back every now and then for for a whole week sometimes. Um, He's going to have a pup with it for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Just, 
Mm. Oh man, the unusual one. Anyways, he well actually it turns out this episode was mainly focused later on on Sinji and Yuka. Yuka and Sinji are apparently a couple, and Yuka has super strength and Sinji could control the dead. So now I'm like, okay, let's go after them next. You know, why not? So. She was doing her plan at the farm ring to give her excuse, so she's thinking more clearly about this. It's just me or Nana to have true training when it comes to... She's smart. Nana's really smart, don't get me wrong. But she is sloppy sometimes, a lot of times, actually. And it's to the point where it's like she should have more training of executing plans and killing people. But again, you only do so much in training and experience is what it takes. You're killing a bunch of island of people who have superpowers. So, I don't know, man. Something's gotta give. On her way, she found a cat that got helped out. And things weren't adding up with the two couples. Until now, I was playing to kill Yoka after she killed Sinji. It turns out Sinji was already dead anyways. Sinji was not the one with the necromancy powers. It was Yuka. Yuka did a very interesting thing where she was kind of, turned out she was kind of strange, kind of sick. She herself was acting like, you know, she had a split personality and she was using, she was playing a thing of puppet show with Sinji, you know, speaking for Sinji in the way she was like, describing Sinji in the past. It was kind of creepy, almost like a stalker more than a girlfriend, if you ask me. So now, she got Nana cornered. You know, they could have killed Nana, they could do so much things. I bet you next episode they're going to do some stupids because the author requires them to do something stupid in order for Nana to survive and the plot to continue on because, you know, that's the highest stakes it can get. Oh my goodness. I swear, people, I swear this, this show. <laughs> I don't know if to laugh at it or should I cry, but, oh my goodness, the author needs to learn to make some good writing, some better writing when it comes to the plot of the story. I like a good plot. I like when two opponents, or even more opponents, try to outsmart each other, and they're all trying to cover up their footprints of what they've done. I enjoy that a lot. I've read a lot of those, too, in the past. So seeing Talis Donna try to execute the same thing, it's like they're doing it on a very extreme amateur level. That's the reason why I'm so upset about it most of the times. But that's just me at the end of the day. You can still enjoy it all you want, man. I don't mind. Just don't turn away from the BS. Come on, man. So anyways, that's it. That's the last video. I don't think I'll put any more until next week. <laughs> Let's see how Nana get herself out of this one out of convenience. So anyways, if you like me ranting about this show, or just enjoying my content, like, comment, subscribe, and of course hit that bell icon. This has been Macron on Metamate. Signing out.